what is it? So the CTP is a multiple and uh, multi multilateral and strategic partnership of national and reg regional research uh, and development innovation programs in the EU and EEA member states, and including also non-EU and EEA partner countries. So why do we do this? So mainly the main goal of the CTP is to support the implementation of the European Strategic Energy Technology Plan, the SEP plan. Here we have a diff uh, some different um, objectives. So achieve a climate neutral society by 2050, diversify Europe's energy supplies and strengthen uh, Europe's uh, clean energy value chains and making them more sustainable. Of course, with the inclusion of non-EU and EEA partners, we also want to attribute to their uh, clean trans energy transition. So what we do in the CTP, we leverage existing set plan initiative and align it with the national energy and climate plans and recovery and resilient facility. It consolidates our, the I funding from national and regional uh, sources for diverse energy transition technologies. Funding comes from na uh, national and regional agencies and the EU Commission. It's our goal, an industry-led transition, making Europe a leader in clean energy innovation and implementation. Next slide, please. So how the CTP partnership has been put together. So we are more than 30 countries that participate in the partnership. We have 20 plus uh, EU member states participating and approximately uh, 10 associated countries, as you can see here. From these uh, some 30 plus uh, countries, we have more than 47 funding partners participating. With the EU Commission being the largest funding partner who are supporting us with top of funding. Yes, we are aiming for annual calls for RTBI projects from between 100 to 140 million euros annually. This is a plan to be between 2022 and 2027. For this year's call, joint call 2024, we are aiming for around 100 million euros budget. Next slide, please. So how does it work? So in the CTP, we have been uh, that we have gone in and looked at the thematic configurations. Here we have seven uh, thematic configurations, also known as TRIs, trans transition initiatives, uh, specified or uh, of working on specific strategic research and innovation agenda. So the three challenges. Yes. Next slide, please. So the annual joint call works so that each of these TRI defines the scope of one or more call modules within their thematic area. And then all the funding partners participating in the CTP partnership can choose which call modules they wish to participate in. Applicants should be very much aware that not all funding partners are participating in all call modules. Some will do participate in all call modules, some will not. Next slide, please. So how it works, we have a two-step procedure in the CTP. So first of all, we have a pre-proposal phase where it's a light format, including a project description, consortium partners, data, team members, and project budget. This is a 10-page submission. At the second stage, we have a full proposal. And at the full proposal, the application must not differ substantially from the pre-proposal. However, you have more space, so it's a 30-page uh, proposal. So we will ask for more information both about the partners, the project, and the composition of the consortium. So when you submit your proposal, you have to choose one core module per proposal. It is not possible to choose multiple uh, call modules, even if your project might fit in between two call modules. Here it is, uh, sorry, um, and the project co coordinators are responsible to invite all the project partners through the submission system. Please be aware that it is necessary to have a PIC and NAC code uh, for all the organizations. So if you don't have this, you have to look into this already now. So 
how to move from the pre-proposal to the full proposal. So after the pre-proposal, we will first of all do our eligibility check according to both the general and national and regional uh, requirements. These requirements, as you might have noticed, are not available at the moment in the current call texts that are on our website. This is because this is in a draft format. We are aiming to upload all the national and regional requirements to the website on the 5th of July. Please do note this date so you can go in and check your national and regional requirements. In case that the proposals are eligible for funding, at the pre-proposal stage, we will send this to our evaluators. They have an evaluator consumption of three experts per proposal. They will be given a score uh, from the uh, evaluators where of a score of at least 10 uh, to pass and as well as at least a score of three in the three uh, uh, evaluation criteria that is impact, excellent and um, implementation. Yes, next slide, please. Yes, so the eligibility criteria. So you need to be at least three independent legal entities from at least three different countries participating in the CTP. Uh, and at least two of these must be from EU member states or Horizon Europe associated countries. And please uh, apologize for the, the typo here. It is joint call 2024 and not joint call 2023. Yes. And as mentioned, applicants must be eligible for funding according to their funding partners, national and regional requirements. Again, please uh, note that these will be uploaded to our website on the 5th of July. Yes. So, again, the consortium shall include three partners receiving funding. At least two of these needs to be from the EU or Horizon Europe associated countries. A consortium needs to have public research organizations, universities, higher uh, education institutions, need owners, etc. You need to have as broad of a consortium as possible from the need owners to the researchers to the implementators and innovation. Furthermore, the total efforts of one partner cannot exceed more than 60% of the total project efforts. And total effort of partners from one country or region cannot exceed 75% of the total project efforts. All this are uh, measured in personal months, not in actual funding, but in personal months. Yes, there is one project coordinator per proposal. This coordinator needs to be the same throughout the entire uh, application period. Yes, next slide, please. So here you can see how you can put together a consortium. So at least three different partners from three different countries. But you are more than welcome to add more partners from more countries, as you can see in the top row here. Yes, next slide, please. So one of the uh, things that the CTP partnership offers is that we have our knowledge community. Our knowledge community facilitates knowledge exchange among our stakeholders. So this is mainly our projects, but it is also our experts and participants in the CTP as well. Here we try to exchange knowledge and uh, improve the, the knowledge sharing between our projects. Furthermore, we also have our impact network. Our impact networks host different sessions and uh, comprises of living lab, validation testbed, industry association, innovation clusters, etc. So the impact networks is designed to help all our projects create the most impact as possible. You can read more, more about both our knowledge community and our impact network on our website. Please note that there will be some requirements to, for all the projects to participate in the impact network and the knowledge community. Uh, this needs to be included in your applications as well. Next slide, please. So now we come to the joint call 2025. So here I need to start by saying that you should be aware that we are still working in a draft format. This means that some minor or small changes can still happen. But for now, we will keep to these dates that we have here. So we will open our call in mid-end of September. 
and we will close it in uh, end of November. The second stage will open in the end of January 2025 with a call closure of uh, the end of March 2025. We aim to have a final funding decision communicated to all our applicants by July 2025. The project start, which is a tentative date, should be between September and December 2025. Application to national and regional funding agencies. This is very crucial for the potential applicants that is that national and regional funding agencies might require a national or regional applications besides the, uh, the general application to the CTP. Any dates regarding these applications will be available in the national requirements. Please consult with your national uh, or regional funding agencies if you are in doubt if there are any national requirements in this regard. Next slide, please. This year, we are having 10 call modules, but as you can see for call module 3, we have two call modules under it. So we have call module 3A and call module 3B. Call module 3A is the OA, so it's a research-oriented action, and call module 3B is an innovative-oriented action. 